Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be looking at uh, the number 96 player, the 96th best player in the NFL of all time. It's the top 100 NFL greatest players. Uh, this series is a series of videos that I'm going to be putting out on my channel over the next few weeks, so uh, probably about two or three a day I'd assume, although you know, I might, I might extend it for a little bit longer. There's going to be other videos you know, put in here and there, obviously with me training and, and uh, talking about other things that are going on in my life. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I hope you enjoy the top 96 to come. So we've got Mel Hine, I believe. It's only a short video, three minutes long. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is if you were picking the greatest players in Giants history on sort of a Mount Rushmore, you know you'd have Lawrence Taylor, and you know you'd have Mel Hine. LT the other and two Mel spots Hine. Would be open to debate. <laughs> Giants. The of the How old is this? Is dedicated in Canton, Ohio. The first Hall of Fame elections were in 1963. 1963, the original wow. The electors of the Hall of Fame look back over the first 43 years of NFL history. Mel Hine was one of the guys who was immediately plucked out as a charter member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Coach Steve Owen and his world's champion New York football giants will help us analyze the game as it is played today. Mel Hine, huh. the greatest center in the league. Hine was the cornerstone around which the Giants built their franchise in the 30s and early 40s. He's a bit he slimmer than the centers today, is isn't he? Demanding according to the oh, look at this. that were used <laughs> at the time. In the 30s, the NFL was in love with unbalanced lines. And the guy who kept track of all that stuff was the center. Oh, Spice the Gap sees daylight, he's through. Lead a, a running play, and one of the first who would take a step back, as we would call today, into pass protection. Do they not do that now? Oh no, they must do. A two time first NFL to do it. champion, Mel Hine was named NFL oh. MVP in 1938. He remains <laughs> the only center ever awarded that honor. The only wow, the only he was center. Also a linebacker on defense and a ferocious crazy. Player, a 230 pounder. I see, we played both positions. He was a 60 minute man, known as old indestructible, even in his own time. Good tackle. Former Giants coach. Yeah, Steve nobody Owen plays both sides say, of the field now, do they? No man played more for the Giants, but needed to be coached less than Mel Hine. <laughs> now we all had close line, plays, but it was more fun that way. I would hate to have come out of a ball game and sit on the bench and watch him play. I didn't want to be on the bench. I want to be out there and see the action. Mel Hine is not as well known today as Red Grange was, or as Nagurski, or other great players of that era. Nagurski has it now. The pitch, the uh, the lateral. But in an era when pro football... They actually looked like he spun that like a rugby pass, believe it or not. Oh, the step! As a paragon yeah, got no bird. Oh, yeah. The big star of the New York Giants was linebacker Mel Hine. Mel intercepts a Sid Luckman throw and runs like a halfback. Whoa! And that's why he goes down as one of the... Oh, I'm glad I saw that. Standard. He's got pace. The only center, Mel Hine, the only center to ever win the NFL MVP. Well, look at that. Oh, we're going to enjoy the next one, Larry Allen. So I want to say, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, even better, there's going to be so much more content to come. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.